Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to set up Tmod Loader for your Terraria server. Firstly, before you can get a Terraria Tmod Loader server set up, you'll have to download Tmod Loader itself. In order to download it, you'll have to open up your Steam application. If you don't have that, the link for it will be in the description. However, if you've already got it downloaded, you'll also have to make sure you have bought and downloaded Terraria on Steam. Once you have all of that set up, type up Tmod Loader on the search bar and click the first result to open this page. Then you should scroll down and press install now. When this window pops up, click next and wait for the installation to begin. After it's done downloading, double check everything is working as intended by heading to the library tab at the top, clicking on Tmod Loader and then pressing play. Once this window pops up, if it has mods and mod browser tabs, then it means you followed these steps correctly. Now that we've downloaded Tmod Loader, we have to set up the server we're going to be using. You can do that by heading to the server.pro website. You then want to make sure you have a VPS server in order to follow the next few steps. If you don't have a VPS server, we've made a tutorial on how to set one up, so click the eye in the top right if you're interested. If you already have one though, simply click on its control panel to open up the server dashboard. Then you want to click the create a service tab on the left. When this panel appears, make sure the service is set to Terraria and that the type is set to Tmod Loader. You can then select the version you want your server to be and its world name, but when you're happy with the settings, press install for your service to be created. You should then wait a couple seconds for it to fully boot up. And that's it, your service created. Now that you've created the server, you'll need to connect to it. You can do that by going back onto Steam, opening the library tab and pressing play on Tmod Loader. When the application launches, press multiplayer and then join via IP. Select the player you're going to be using and when this pops up, you'll want to copy the server's IP address on the dashboard. Then open the Tmod Loader window back up and paste the server IP address there. Afterwards, it'll ask you to enter the server port. To find the server port, head to your services dashboard and it should be on the right. Copy that port, paste it into your game and press accept. It'll take up to a couple minutes to connect, but once that's done, you're now able to play with your friends on your new server. If you want to install mods though, firstly on the Tmod Loader Launcher, you can click onto the Mod Browser tab. Here you'll see a bunch of cool mods that you can easily download by pressing the download arrow. Once they're downloaded, press back and click on the Mods tab to open up the mods list. At the bottom there should be an Open Mods folder button, so you want to click it to open this files explorer window. You can minimise that window for now, but make sure not to close it as we're going to be using it for the next step. Since we now have the mod set up on our client, we have to make sure it's also set up on our server. So what you want to do next is go back to your service and into the files tab on the left. You should see a mods folder there and that's what you want to open up. Once you're in it, open your files explorer window back up, select all the files in there and drop them into the mods folder. It takes 2 seconds to upload and when that's done, quickly restart the service to ensure the mods load in properly. And that's as easy as that, now you can go into your server and play with those mods. Although, it's important to make sure that the mods downloaded on the server are the only ones enabled in your client. If you've downloaded other mods, make sure that you disabled them in the mods list before joining. And lastly, your friends also have to have them downloaded on their client if they want to join. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more from my channel. Thank you for watching.